he's hard. This would be so much easier. Ridiculous. Okay, we're into the next stage of the battle. Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Cherry Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to get guns in Dark Souls 3. Now I am not a Dark Souls fan because I cannot get good. I don't have the patience, I don't have the skill, but I thought it would be fun to see what all the fuss was about. So sit back, get your knickers out of a twist and let's dive into it shall we? Now, the first thing you're going to need is obviously a copy of Dark Souls 3 bought from Steam. And the next thing you're going to need is a Nexus Mods account by going to nexusmods.com and registering for an account there. I've already registered for mine because I use this site all the time. Once you sign up for Nexus Mods, you can follow the link in the description down below to this page, the nexusmods.com slash Dark Souls 3 slash mod slash 588, which is the modern firearm mod. Go down to the bit where it says files. And the bit where it says Modern Firearm 1.0, click Manual Download. And then obviously you're going to click the Slow Download if you have picked a free account, which I have done because I'm cheap. Then click Save File. And it should download then to your Downloads folder and wait for it to download. It's only a 48 megabyte file, 43.8 megabyte file, so it shouldn't take too long. Once, it there, once there, it's going to give you a zip folder. You need to right click that, click extract all, and extract. It'll then give you a folder for modern firearms. Now, the next thing you're going to need is a mod manager, Dark Souls 3 mod manager. So, so next, click the link in the description that says DS3 mod engine. And again, go down to the bit where it says files. And click manual download here and we're gonna want another slow download but this one is only a 23 kilobyte download save that file again and that will download to and that will go to your downloads folder you're gonna want to right click the new folder the mod engine folder and click extract all and extract again now you're going to want to find the files for Dark Souls 3 so on Steam where it says Dark Souls 3 right click go to the bit which says manage and browse local files and it'll bring you to this file folder here which will be where the game is saved click where it says game and it'll bring you to a folder that has the darksouls.exe now what we're going to do is to go into the mod engine folder that we just extracted and copy the dinput8.dll and the mod engine configuration settings click copy go back to where dark souls is installed so back to steam right click manage and browse local files into the game folder and then we want to right click and paste those into there then we want to create a new folder in this one called mod mod no capital letters just mod then go back to your downloads folder go into the modern firearm 1.0-588-1-0-1592293150 and copy everything in here this should be Three, fo three folders that you want to copy the chr parts and sound right click copy those go back to the dark souls folder browse local files game and the new mod folder open that and paste them into here and that is everything you need to do now a word of warning before you start the game up you are not going to want to be connected to the internet because dark souls is an online game and modding the game while the game is online will result in a soft ban or shadow ban which will put you with other modders and other hackers in the online games it will not ban your account but it will sort of shadow ban your account and make it make it impossible for you to play legit when you are online and you do not want that so the best way to do this is to go to your network and internet settings click where it says ethernet Go over to change adapter options, right clicking on your network adapter and clicking disable. This will stop you from connecting to the internet at all and is probably the safest way to launch the game whilst modding. You are now ready to launch the game. Now like it says here, the weapons that are in place with guns are the light crossbow for a vector, heavy crossbow for an AK, a knight crossbow for the M16, the repeating crossbow is a Thompson SMG, the sniper crossbow is a sniper rifle and Avalyn is an MP5 and Abelast 
Abalest is a shotgun. So now whenever you pick up these in the game, they will be guns. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use a cheat engine just so I can show you all of this. Again, a cheat engine, if you do use a cheat engine, it is going to get you banned. So make sure that you are not connected to the internet, otherwise you'll end up with a shadow ban. And as you can see, I've loaded up all the crossbows in the game using a cheat engine. If you'd like to know how to use a cheat engine, then please let me know down in the comments. We have a vector. We have a, what looks like an AK-47. We have a shotgun. Fantastic, fantastic there. So let's see how this runs when we run into someone. There's a, uh, a bad guy. Still managed to hit me, didn't they? Um, I don't know how you get your health back in this game. Okay, fantastic. And if we go into the other items, we have other crossbows. That's another arbalest. Let's see, we got this one. We got this one. And we got this one. The knight's crossbow, which I have two of because I was, wasn't was paying attention. So there's a tommy gun. Fantastic. An assault rifle. Better. And an SMG. So let's take those for a spin. Get some bad guys up here. Oh, got a there we go. Now the guy, the guy that made this, the guy that made this mod did say that it is OP. So if you're looking for a traditional Dark Souls experience, you wouldn't be playing with guns anyway. But you're not gonna get that from playing this. I, for one, welcome this as, like I said, I do like the aesthetic of a Dark Souls game, but I just cannot get good. Oh, there's a guy here. Start bullets already. Let's try this gun out. Oh, I fell. Oh. Beautiful. I'm gonna go into here. That looks like a boss fight. can say hello to my little friend. Let's get a shotgun out for this guy. And what was this one? A vector. Remove his sword. He's hard. This is be so much easier. Ridiculous. Next stage of the battle. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Good job I'm using this cheat engine. And there we go. Now you have it a quick and easy way to get guns into Dark Souls. Like I said, I'm not a Dark Souls fan, but I couldn't miss the opportunity to shoot some guns in Dark Souls. If you found this video useful, then please hit that like button. If you're new here, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, don't do anything I wouldn't do.